What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Yes, I bought a drone and I'm so freaking excited and pumped to use this. I wanted a drone for a long time. I just never pulled the trigger until now. So yes, we have a drone. I'm gonna give you lots of cool shots around the city today. And going forward in my future videos, I'll probably get some drone shots in every single video because I don't see why not because this thing is, is pretty damn cool. So I'm gonna give you a lot more shots today. Let's get in the video. No more talk. Let's go. If you have not seen or used a drone before, it comes in this compact package. And then what you do is you fold out the wings first, pull the front out like that, and then you fold the back out like that. So this is what it looks like when it's all set and done. And then of course it also comes with a controller and this connection is via Bluetooth, of course. So you fold these antennas up and then on the bottom you attach your phone because on your phone, when you download the app that this is associated with, you see the map, your flight trajectory, how high you are, how far you've gone and also how strong or how weak the connection is. And if the connection becomes too weak, the drone will automatically come back to where it started, AKA it's home. So let's get this thing out a little bit more and get some more shots. All right, guys, we're about to do something I've never done before. Actually, wait, last year in Texas, I did it. I'm about to get a haircut from someone not in my family. My whole life growing up, my mom has cut my hair, and when she hasn't been available, someone else in my family has cut my hair. They know exactly how I do my hair. I don't even really need to tell them what I want. They already know. I'm taking a risk. I'm taking a chance. I guess it really is stepping out of my comfort zone because I know how my hair is supposed to look. So hopefully it does too. This place is recommended to me by this dude I met on YouTube. Sean, when you watch this, Shout out to you. Hopefully this place is good. Actually, I'm Cutler in Midtown, so let's get this haircut and uh, see how it turns out. And there we go. There we have it. Not bad, huh? I think it looks pretty good. I think the sides and the back are perfect. The sideburns are sharp and pointed like I like them. He did a nice 0 0.5 to 1 fade. I say the top is a little bit shorter than I normally would get it, but that's okay because I think my hair was just like too long for my standards. It's just become an asshole to deal with. So start out shorter again. That's all good. You blend it in the back here like that too. So overall, very solid haircut. I will give this a 8.4 out of 10. So let me give you guys a review of this drone and then I'll give you guys some more sweet shots uh, at nighttime. So this is the DJI Mini SE and of the DJI lineup, it's considered the beginner drone. It was only 300 bucks, which I think is a fantastic deal for everything you get out of this. I've never flown a drone before, so I wanted something very easy to learn. This thing took 10, 15 minutes, if that, to get the hang of it. After that short period, it's really a breeze. It's super easy to use and operate. From what I've seen and researched, I've been told by people who are good with drones, this is the very best beginner drone on the market. Of course, you can get drones under 300 dollars but those are probably very unreliable they probably break pretty easily if it were to hit a tree branch or anything it could snap this one seems pretty stable pretty sturdy and overall very good quality for the money it shoots in 2.7k so it's not quite 4k but honestly i've compared the two and it's very hard to tell the difference also what i like about this one is that if you can see right here it weighs 249 grams and that's on purpose because anything over 250 grams you must get registered so I'm not registering this with anyone. For my first 24, 48 hours of use, I found two negatives with it. And I don't know if it's all drones in general, but the battery life on this seems to be less than what I thought it would be or what I expected. I would say flying footage, I can get maybe 25 or 30 minutes out of full charge. And also it takes a while to charge up fully. So I would highly recommend get more batteries. I'm definitely gonna do that. And secondly, if you're shooting around lots of tall buildings like I am downtown, the connection seems to go or weaken pretty quickly because of 
all the interference going on with all the buildings. So the drone isn't up in the air very long before I gotta take it down and return it to its home in a few minutes. So instead of shooting like one long scene of 20 minutes to get all the footage I need, I usually gotta shoot it for two or three minutes, take it down because the connection went and send it up again, do a few more minutes and then take it down when the connection goes and then repeat, repeat, repeat until I get all of my footage. Do I mind? Not really but it's just something to keep in mind if you don't want to deal with that extra hassle. All right, check out these shots of downtown Atlanta at night. What a relaxing night. You know, I'm, I'm so glad that summer's starting to end because it's been so freaking hot down here, especially the humidity. The humidity is the worst part. Like you step outside and you're immediately sweating. Now we're in the middle of September, we're getting to the fall season eventually, which I think is the best season of the whole year. You know what's crazy? We're like, what, three and a half months from 2022. Most people are still trying to process what happened in 2020. Like 2020 was like by far the worst year you could ever imagine. Three and a half months from 2022, it's like, what even happened in 2021? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Time flies. Time flies like crazy. And as cliche as that sounds, it's true. So I've been here for about two months now, just over two months, and I've been so busy with everything. My work, my YouTube, my workout routine. I think the most underrated aspect of it is that I'm still learning how to live on my own. Like for example, the other day I got my, my auto insurance quote from State Farm, and the premium was more than double what it was when I was at home living with my parents. It's literally more than double because I'm in the middle of the city where there's more traffic, crime, car accidents, stuff like that. Plus, I'm under the age of 25, which the State Farm makes me an at-risk driver or something like that. I think I'm a fine driver, but apparently they don't. So anyways, that cranks up my rate. That was not part of the budgeting I did before I moved down here, so that's just one example. Man, these cars out here are loud all the freaking time. But that's just one example of one way I'm learning to live on my own. Plus, my work has been taking up about 75% of the total time I'm awake. Fortunately, right now, we're past the September 15th deadline, so thank God. I can finally breathe and relax and chill out a little bit because before that I was not having any free time whatsoever. I'm gonna use all this extra time to make even better content, make even higher quality videos and come up with new ideas to put a smile on your face and impact your lives. We've made it all the way to the end. I appreciate you so much. Make sure you follow my Instagram and reach out to me because I'm always down to meet new people as I say in every single video. With all that being said, please look forward to more drone shots and all my videos going forward. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure you drop me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next Monday.